Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and another experiment using the Arduino Uno. In this experiment we're going to be connecting an LCD display. And this is a uh, 16 column by 2 row alphanumeric display. So we can display 32 alphanumeric characters on this display. It's got just a single row of male header pins on the back here. This is a 1602A. Let's see that. There's a lot going on here. There's a couple of chips on here. I guess this can also be used uh, as storage. So when you have a reading that gets displayed, you can actually store that inf information temporarily on this too. I never thought of these as being uh, used as storage devices also. Let's take a look at the data sheet. I just printed out one of the pages showing the pinouts. So there's an 8-bit bi-directional bus and those are pins 7 through pins 14. In this circuit we're only going to be using data pins D4 through D7. And we've got the power supply for the backlight which is pin 15 and pin 16 is the ground for the backlight. Read write. Uh, we're going to ground pin 5 here because we're only going to write to the display. We're not going to be reading. As I mentioned earlier uh, we can actually read from the display also. Uh, RS is register select and this tells the LCD display where to place the character or display the character. And we've got pin 2 is the power supply voltage. Pin 1 ground VSS and V0 pin 3 that's for adjusting the voltage for the LCD for the backlight. And we have the enable pin, which uh, tells the LCD whether it's uh, ready to read or write. So I used that fritzing program to, uh, to put together a little pictorial or schematic of the circuit with the wiring. And I don't know if anyone recalls back in the 60s, uh, I don't know if it went into the 70s, there used to be a toy called the Magic 8-Ball and you would just ask it a random question and shake it up and it had a little window with this floating cube that would uh, float to the top with a random response depending on what side of the cube was revealed. This is sort of a modern version of that toy. Uh, this is going to give us uh, random responses on the LCD display and it's going to do that, uh, it's going to respond to a tilt switch so it's going to monitor the previous and current state of this tilt switch and that will trigger uh, a response, a new display uh, to be revealed on this LCD display. So first we have the supply voltage, a plus 5 volts and the ground going over to the breadboard. Here we have pins 1 through 16 on the LCD. Uh, we ground the, this is the ground for the backlight and we have uh, plus 5 volts on pin 15 for the backlight through a 220 ohm uh, current limiting resistor. We've got four, pin 14, 13, 12, and 11 uh, hooked up to the Arduino's pin 2 through 5. Uh, pin 6 is going to be an input and we have that hooked up to the tilt switch and the other side of the tilt switch goes to plus 5 volts and we have a 10k resistor going to ground. Uh, the potentiometer, this is going to control the voltage on the backlight. So we've got pins 
one, two, three, pin three, and that's VO. That's adjust the supply voltage for the LCD. And so you can control uh, how bright the characters are. And the other side goes to plus five volts, and the other outside pin goes to ground. Again, with the center pin going to pin three. Uh, pin one is VSS, ground, and pin two is VDD, is the power supply for the logic uh, of the ICs on the LCD display. Again, pin five, we're just tying to ground because we're only going to write, we're not going to read from the display. Pin four is register select, and that's connected to pin 12 on the Arduino, and that's going to be an output. Pin six is the enable pin, and that gets connected to pin 11, and that will be an output on the Arduino. So let's connect the LCD back to the circuit I've already built. Press that in, make sure I have pins lined up correctly. So let's connect the USB cable. Upload the sketch. So you can see the initial screen here. It says ask the crystal ball. That's the initial message. So if you tilt this circuit or tilt this tilt switch there. It comes up with random responses to whatever questions you might be Posing to the magic wall. Every time that tilt switch is activated. So again, uh, we've done this in the past where we keep track of uh, current and previous state of that tilt switch. And based on that value, that initiates uh, some action. In this case, uh, giving us these random answers to our questions, whatever those might be. So let's take a look at the program real quick. So you can see here the first thing we do is import the liquid crystal library with uh, include liquid crystal dot h and then we have to initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins so we have to tell it what pins we're going to be using and we have liquid crystal LCD pins 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, and 2. And then we set up the constants that are going to keep track of the current and previous states of the uh, tilt switch. So we have a constant integer variable switch pin equal to pin 6. And we have the variable that's going to hold the value of the switch pin which is integer switch state and we're initializing that to zero and uh, the variable to hold the previous value of the switch pin which is integer variable switch uh, previous switch state and we're initializing that to zero also and this variable reply will hold a value that tells us which random statement to print on the LCD display Next we start the setup function, void setup, and we start the LCD library with lcd.begin, and this is telling it that it's a 16 column by 2 row LCD display, so it, know where, it knows where to uh, put the characters as a reference. And we're going to set, uh, using pin mode, we're going to use a switch pin as an input. We're declaring switch pin variable as an input. Switch pin, you recall, is pin 6. So when we first turn on the display, we have an initial message. And it's, uh, it prints out, ask the crystal ball. 
So here we use lcd.print and we've got the first line of uh, characters. Uh, if you recall the LCD display is zero indexed so uh, the first column and the first row uh, it starts off at zero zero. Uh, that's automatic but then we have to tell it to go to the uh, second row first column so we have to say LCD dot set cursor zero with the arguments zero and one so that's still the first column uh, although that's one that's the second row because we're zero indexed and then we pr uh, print LCD dot print crystal ball on the second line next we start a loop function where we're going to do a digital read of pin six recall pin six is switch pin and we'll store that in switch state and here we check to see whether the previous switch state is different than the current switch state and if they are and if the switch state is low then we're going to uh, use this random function random eight uh, this will return a random number between zero and seven and store it in the variable reply and that's the number we're going to use to determine what random uh, statement to display on the LCD. So we have the initial two lines of text that we have to clear. We have to clear the ask the crystal ball and we use this lcd.clear to do that. And then we have to reposition the cursor. So we have lcd.set cursor 0, 0 and we're ready to print um, lcd.print the ball says and then we move the cursor to position 0 1 which is uh, the first column second row and that sets the cursor up for the random reply so this switch statement executes different pieces of code depending on a value you give it and each one of these different pieces of code is called a case so we have uh, 0 through 7 different statements that get uh, to be randomly printed out depending on a value that gets returned to the switch statement. So we have this random number that gets generated and stored in reply from the random function. And whatever value that returns, we have uh, either case 0, case 1, 2, three, four, five, six, or seven. So if it was case, so if a zero is returned to switch, it'll print out LCD print yes. So after each print statement, we have this break command, and it tells the Arduino where the end of the case is, and when it hits break, it skips to the end of the switch statement. So each one of these individual cases has a break command and that will skip down to the end of the switch statement and the last thing we do is update uh, the previous switch statement equal to the current switch uh, value. So this is an example circuit of how you can hook up an LCD display to the Arduino Uno I don't think I showed you this. Uh, here's the potentiometer and how it adjusts the backlighting here for the LCD display. So that's one way to hook up an LCD display to the Arduino. I hope you found this video interesting. Please subscribe and or comment. And I look forward to doing some more videos on the Arduino or electronics in general. So thanks for watching. And see you next video. You know, I forgot to ask this thing a question. Will I be a big success on YouTube? Oh, great.